I think for women in general, I want them to have the same opportunities as men have and not to experience invisible hurdles. Hi, my name is Sarah Bruff. I'm an astronomer and I study galaxy evolution. I am the Australian science lead for the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope and LSST is a new telescope that's being built right now in Chile. Uh, it's got an 8 metre mirror and the mirror size is very important for optical telescopes, the bigger the better. And location is also really important. Chile is one of the best places in the world to build a telescope. It has very high mountains. You put the telescope on top of the mountain and then the atmosphere above it is very dry and thin. And then that gives you the best, clearest picture of stars you can, and galaxies that you can possibly have. LSST will image the southern hemisphere about 800 different times over a 10 year period and that means it'll see how the sky changes over that time. The galaxies I look at, they will really value the stacking together those images to get see the really faint light because it starts to tell us something about how those galaxies have merged over time which we haven't been able to see before. During my PhD I was one of three women in my year so at that time I kind of didn't understand that there still was a problem for women in science. But then in my first job at the Australian Astronomical Observatory, I kind of started to think, wow, this is some years into my working career and I thought this problem was solved. Like, it clearly hasn't been solved and there's clearly still a problem. So I decided to organise the first Australian Women in Astronomy workshop and that happened in 2011. We brought together around 60 or 70 people and had people tell their stories about their career experience. Also some talks about how things could be done better in the future. This workshop now, the Women in Astronomy, is now the Diversity in Astronomy workshop and it happens annually. So I think these are really important developments to keep that um, conversation going. So for women in science, I hope to see that they feel the experience the same opportunities as men do in their field. I still think there's a long way to go in how we manage some of those issues, but part of it is around being willing to have those difficult conversations as a community with individuals.